This is an unboxing of Mage Knight board game. Uh, in full disclosure, I have unboxed it previously, but I figured there was some value in showing the packaging and choosing your online retailer. Uh, this came from Boards and Bits, so here's the packaging it came in. that the uh, shrink wrap is already gone because I've taken it off. I didn't do anything beyond that though because I looked online and saw that there was no unboxing video just yet. thought there might be some value in seeing it open. Um, I'm kind of glad I did. When I removed the shrink previously, uh, there was actually a little bit of some sort of adhesive down here in the left corner it made it a little tough for me to open up. It took me a couple minutes to finally kind of break that adhesive seal in order to get the box lid open. So shrink wrap is gone. You can skip that step. Nice box. Got the, uh, like the fortune or the uh, fame board tracker. Not familiar, not completely familiar with all the terms in the game just yet. This looks like the uh, night or the daytime and the nighttime board. Keep track of your mana and uh, resources as as well as what phase you're in, if it's night or day, depending on your turn. Here's the uh, score and fortune tracker, or fame tracker, Back. reputation, I'm not sure what they were again. Rule books, this is the walkthrough, good color, nice finish on the pages. Looks like uh, the walkthrough is 19 pages. Rule book. Less images as explained in the walkthrough. Uh, looks like on this one we've got, I'm not going to focus on that, 19 pages as well on the rule book. And now into the meat and potatoes. Looks like they've got it divided up with uh, little plastic separators here to put the components in their proper places. I'll have a look at each of the uh, miniatures. I hope it'll focus. Probably is not going to focus for me. Four different cities. I won't take all the cities out. Hero clicks bases. And in the four different colors, this is the white city. And then we've got a green city, red city, and black city as well. All right, moving on. Here we've got. All the tokens in the game. Again, I'm not familiar, completely familiar with all the terminology. 
kind of nice. Everything in this game is um, pre-punched and then packaged. These look like the monster tokens. Some of the monsters you'll be facing. These are hex shaped. Um, not positive what these are as well. Sorry that I'm not familiar with the terms. Also hex shaped here. Cardboard seems to be nice, thick quality. Let's say on on the uh, score tracker, not not as thick as as I would probably prefer it to be, just by early impressions. It seems a little bit flimsier than I usually like the main boards to be, and it's the same thickness as seems to be the rest of the pieces, but of course the rest of the pieces are much smaller, so you don't get that flimsiness. I'm going to go ahead and open the uh, land tiles. Here, I'll try not to damage the land tiles at all. They cut. So we can get a closer look at all of these. Got the red city, white city in the middle there, blue city. They're all double sided. Well, actually, no. Oh, the starting tile is double sided. Here's the starting tile, and the rest single-sided. These uh, look like they're green, single-sided, and these are the yellow, brownish color on the back. Oh. Those tiles. Now let's take a look at the card the cards that come with it. I'll open these up as well. These are the wound cards here on top. Purple cards. I'm not sure what these are. Maybe special special ability cards. As for the uh, thickness on the cards, um, they're they're nice. Uh, my immediate impression is that they're a little bit flimsy. Kind of wishing for a little bit thicker card. But maybe if I, uh, after playing it a couple times, if I really fall in love with the game, I will sleeve them to give them a little extra protection. Uh, just to show you the rest, here are the tokens. Again, pre-punched is really nice and bagged. Here are the dice. The dice are pretty small. I love the designs on the dice already. I like the gray with the colors that are used. The little, uh, each of the mana graphics are pretty cool. Apologize for the camera not really focusing very well on those. But there are the uh, dice. And I believe these are the, the mana. They're clear. They look like little castles. I could be totally wrong on some of this, so I apologize in advance. Uh, again, prepackaged. Yeah. Ziploc baggy. The rest of the cards.
Yeah, uh, plenty to learn here. Big game system, lots of components. I'm excited to jump into this one and perhaps uh, report later on on how it goes after a few plays. Thanks for watching.